Hi, pile three. So for the first, how many did this pile get? Because this one got extra. For the first three cards, it's going to be uh, things that help you in whatever situation you're in right now. You know, you're here listening to what others admire about you most for a reason, you know. And I listen to a lot of those too. A lot of times it's when we're needing some sort of feel good about ourselves a bit, you know. And just because I believe that the biggest validation that's most important is the validation that comes from yourself, I figured I'd add in this beginning part here. You are untamable. You are a fiery force to be reckoned with, spirited. You need to start showing your hard work to others. With attention comes recognition. No more invisibility. You are very sassy and competitive. You rise to any challenge. So, very fiery person. You're somebody very fiery. Have inspirational, very passionate, very creative, very... Somebody that's just really headstrong and knows what they want and goes for it. Somebody who grows, learns, understands things. Somebody who really rises to face any challenge that comes your way and you are a force to be reckoned with when you do. You really need to express yourself more fully. Be your true self more. Start showing others the hard work that you have accomplished and what you have done. Stop being invisible. With attention from the outside will come recognition. But if you're in this invisible bubble, I've created one myself before in my life, and boy, it was really hard to climb out of. If you put yourself in this invisible bubble, sometimes it's really hard to come out. It's really hard to remove the masks. It's really hard to show everything you've been doing. But once you do, there will start to be recognition on all the things that you have accomplished. So, you have healthy boundaries. You don't allow others to take advantage. These are the parts that people admire about you most. A logical, analytical thinker, a leader in communication, and makes plans very effectively. So you're somebody who really can think and has a lot of knowledge. Somebody who really studies a lot, possibly. Somebody who really understands on a very high level of intelligence. Somebody who really is a very recognized or is really a very good leader when it comes to communicating with others and you make plans very effectively and are able to put those into action as well. You're somebody who has very healthy boundaries and doesn't allow other people to take advantage of you. You're somebody who really makes sure that the people that are in your life are there for a good reason and not just to take advantage. We have the cheetah. Yes, a very fiery, passionate person. Wow. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Tower, Ace of Cups, Chariot, and the Ace of Wands. So what do people admire most about you? That you are somebody who loves yourself and respects yourself. And you're somebody who not only loves yourself and respects yourself, but you give that same respect and love to others. You express yourself very effectively. You are somebody who can cut through the bullshit and somebody who expresses your truth. Somebody who really is very transformative. You bring a lot of transformations to others. You're somebody who really can knock down the foundation of what people believe in and bring them new awarenesses and new ideas, new thoughts that they had never even thought of before. You're somebody who communicates in a very, it's, for some reason I'm thinking of the Page of Swords in my other deck, which is about communicating in kind of like a counselor way. Uh, you're somebody who really likes to learn, likes to understand things, likes to dive in to know things. You're somebody who doesn't mind tearing down the foundations of everything you believe to build it up Again, if it means improving those foundations and improving on yourself, you're somebody who's very creative, very passionate, has a lot of drive, ambition, motivation. You're somebody who goes after what you want. You are somebody who takes action, somebody who is able to rein in their passions and their emotions 
and bring them into balance so that you can remain grounded as you're following your intuition towards your happiness. You're somebody who knows what you want and goes after it and expresses your truth and communicates very effectively. You may also be somebody very sensitive and emotional at the same time, though. You're somebody who has a lot of both, not just not just the air energy, but you have the love energy, the passion as well. You may need a little bit of grounding, maybe. But these are just the things that people are admiring most about you as well. So, And you've got a lot of different qualities about yourself. Maybe even some contradictory ones at times. Cheetah. Solar force, action, achievement, masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah. It shines from inside this great creature and expands outwards to brighten the universe. The energy, energy within a cheetah personality is palpable to others, and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's forward momentum, so if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. Achieves anything, boundless energy when out of balance, impatient and competitive, to bring into balance reconnect to your purpose so you might want to make sure that you're connected to your purpose and it's just all about taking that action taking that action to put yourself out there because you know what and maybe you have taken that action to put yourself out there a little bit already and that's what people are admiring about you as well and once you do it's just going to draw in a giant audience of people because your ideas are something that people have never thought of before and they really do enjoy listening to them you may, all, you may be an inspir inspirational leader of some kind. You may be a counselor, a teacher, somebody that, you know, is a very effective leader and you communicate very effectively. You may write books. You may, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do in that area where it requires having an audience to achieve what you want to achieve. And you're somebody who could draw in that audience as long as you overcome the need for the invisibility, the need to protect yourself and your deepest works, you know. People really admire your deepest works, so there's no reason to keep them hidden. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for a future video, I would love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. And please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. So for pile four, the first couple ones we have are going to be uh, what can help you to see yourself in a better light, kind of what can help you in whatever you're working on right now. You know, a lot of times when we go to watch the videos that are more for, you know, what's great about us, a lot of times it's because we're needing those reminders, you know, and the only validation and recognition we really need comes from within, not outside of ourselves. And so I just thought that I would do this first part just to, and I'm not judging anybody because I watch a lot of these ones myself. <laughs> I enjoy it when I'm, especially if I'm going through something, you know, and this part's just to help in anything you might be going through. Blessings are coming your way. Stop to smell the roses as you wait. Patience and trust allow you to move forward in a graceful way. Boy, patience and trust is a hard one sometimes. Divine timing is everything when it comes to that. Someone who once doubted you will know what's up. Be humble in this power shift. So, <laughs> if you're waiting on a person, I did say divine timing here, you know. Everything's going to happen when it's meant to happen, you know. Just keep working on your own things. Enjoy the moment. Have fun with your friends. Go out and do things. Take care of yourself, you know, and be grateful for everything in front of you. Even, you know, if it doesn't look so great right now, be, be grateful for everything that you have because it could be worse, you know. And just be patient and trust and allow yourself to move forward, being able to go with the flow and not fighting it, you know. Release the outcome and just allow yourself to enjoy the journey. Someone who once doubted you will know what is up. Be humble in this power shift. So also remember to remain down to earth and grounded and to understand that everyone's just going on their own journey in their own time. We're all doing the best we can with the tools we have in the moment we're in. And 
remember to approach the situation from an attitude of humbleness and not an attitude of ego. You know, this person may have had a very big ego with you in the past as well, but you know, how somebody else acts and how we react is completely different. You know, our own reactions are on us. And just remember to stay in that grateful attitude of gratitude and love and patience and trust energy. And don't allow fear or ego to take over. So what do others admire most about you? You are filled with self-love and it radiates out to the world around you. Actually, I was saying that about pile, which pile was it? Two, I think, or no, three. It was pile three, I think. You have an abundant foundation in your thoughts. Oh, sorry. You have a balanced foundation in your thoughts. You express yourself with joy and optimism. So you're somebody very abundant, I think, as well. But you have a very balanced foundation in your thinking. You're somebody who's able to keep your thoughts calm, to stay away from the anxiety or the fears. And you're somebody who's really able to keep that joy and optimism in your heart and you express it out to others. You're somebody very filled with self-love and you just spill that out over onto anybody around you that positivity that joy that love that happiness that purity and that pure of heartness oh wow yes the dolphin somebody very very fun optimistic joyful loving somebody very connected to the community and the people around them somebody who is very healing and optimistic joyful playful expressive emotionally very expressive emotionally dolphins are just amazing <laughs> you bring so much happiness wherever you go don't worry about what anybody else thinks just enjoy life you know and that seems kind of like what you are a lot too innately intelligent healer light blessings the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit shamans cunning folk healer you know those are all whatever you believe you are you're somebody who heals the vibrations of the planet and raises them up it's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact that they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming into contact with the dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way. When in balance, active healers, strong spiritual practice. When out of balance, underestimates their own power to bring into balance like-minded spirits. So really know your worth just know it because you are somebody who's just amazing and abundant and healing and loving and light and happiness and joy and optimism and positivity you are filled with the energy of the universe and the earth and the spirit realm and it flows through you out onto the world around you in happiness and joy and inspiration and positivity you are a leader and <laughs> You're somebody who, and you know what, maybe if you needed to listen to Pile 3, that's possible, you know. You're somebody who just really, don't underestimate this. You might underestimate how amazing you really are. Know your own worth, trust, and have faith going forward that it's going to bring you amazing things being this person that you are. Just being you will bring you amazing things. And dolphins are also very protective, protected, as well as protective. You know, they're considered a symbol of protection. Yep. People admire how much you have worked to be adaptive, to learn how to adapt, to learn how to be flexible, to learn how to go with the flow, to let go of any feelings of lack or any feelings of self-worth issues, to really have this change in perspectives and this transformation and be able to go on this new journey forward. Maybe you might be starting something, some sort of creative business, some sort of new passionate journey, some sort of new journey in growth, you know, and people really admire how hard you've worked to overcome any of the cold energy you came from, the energy of just being alone and lost and miserable and out in the cold and not worthy and feeling like there was no one around to being able to be more flexible, adaptable, balanced, to really being able to open yourself up to love and joy and forgiveness and your psychic intuitions and empathy and understanding. They really admire how beautiful and sweet and 
loving and caring you are. People really admire that you're able to look at things from a unique perspective, that you're really able to delve in and gain the knowledge necessary to be able to understand things on a deeper level, to be able to see whoever this person is that left you in the cold that you're waiting on because that's really what it feels like it feels like a love relationship situation and you know I try not to bring that into the other readings too much but that's what this feels like and they were just being really selfish and they didn't see the amount of love coming from you they didn't see this opportunity because they were mis wallowing in their misery and their feelings of self-doubt and lack and unworthiness and you know you were just able to be emotionally satisfied in and of yourself and to be okay on your own and you worked really hard to be flexible patient adaptable understanding and to gain the new perspectives and knowledge you needed to be able to have this transformation and still remain open and patient and forgiving and loving and caring and people really admire how you've been able to work to to through these lessons and through whatever you needed to understand from the situation that you were in about why you were so closed off to love why you were giving all your love to somebody who wasn't paying attention to you and how you've been able to balance and adapt and learn and overcome and gain the knowledge you needed to be open to love but still have good boundaries as well and still walk away from the people that are hurting you and wait for them to get their shit together and be open for it when it comes back if it does and if it doesn't knowing that it's still all for your greatest good and that something is going to come to you that's beautiful so that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading I would really love to hear your feedback in the comments below especially if you're going through some sort of love situation you know I would absolutely love to hear about it I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching if you enjoyed this reading please like, share, and subscribe Bye-bye.